O ye of little faith, let us bask in your ignorance as we serve up another mailbag. I had thought that I would get a reaction from the Freighter Dunks on Damien Eccles video, <laughs> the last mailbag, and I was correct. It did get a reaction, but we already have a lot of prejudging going on and a lot of assumptions. Some people were highly upset at that video title. Let's see what they have to say, shall we? Uh-oh, someone writes. <laughs> this person just put one word, ego. <laughs> Trust me when I say that I don't think I'm better than anybody else. I'm skilled at some things and I suck at other things, just like anybody. And, you know, being a magician, it's one of the things you have to work on and overcome is the ego. This is why I said at the beginning, O ye of little faith. Apollo pursuing Daphne writes, Seriously? I don't even need to watch the video. Hiding behind a paywall to trash talk somebody who's done nothing but good for the esoteric community says enough. Looks like somebody got offended by Damien talking about armchair magicians. <laughs> hey, I've talked about armchair magicians too. I didn't see that particular um, content from Damien Eccles. So I don't know what he said, um, but it's probably in line with everything that I had said. Because so far, when I have listened to his material, everything is lined up pretty much, you know, I won't say verbatim, but it's close. I did an entire video rant on it at one time, and I'll put a link to it up here um, if I remember to by the time this comes out. But you can look it up just as easily. It's entitled, I believe, The Armchair of No Knowledge. Now, the first part of what you said that you don't even have to watch the video is kind of important because it's displaying your ignorance at the very core meaning of the word because you don't need to watch the video because you believe you already know what's in the video, but you don't know what's in the video, but you're going to act like you know what's in the video. And then you spout off about it when you really don't know what you're talking about. And it's ironic that you bring up armchair magicians because I titled my video on armchair occultist, the armchair of no knowledge for a reason. It's because armchair magicians, occultists think they, they know, they think they have the knowledge, but they really don't have the knowledge because they haven't done the work. They haven't put it into practice. Experience is the best teacher. With experience comes knowledge. Armchair occultists pretend that they have the knowledge, but they really don't because they haven't done the work to gain the knowledge. And that's what you are like, because you yourself said that you don't even need to watch the video before spouting on like you know what's in the video. You don't have the knowledge. This comment was not made on the video. None of these comments were made on the video. They were made on the advertisement for Patreon and Subscribestar for the early access to the video. And YouTube memberships, by the way, I don't want to leave them out. Now, do you see how people project? Because the very thing he's pointing his finger at me about is the thing that he's guilty of. There was a recent clip called uh, Talk Less, Listen More, or Listen More, Talk Less. I think I have one of each, actually. Go back and watch those, because you need it. Freighter didn't dunk on Echoes. Freighter dunked on you and your ignorance. I can live without this type of content. I'll be unsubscribing. Well, I could live without knowing that. <laughs> Why is it when they unsubscribe, they feel the need to tell me about it? You know, I love all my subscribers, but if you feel you have to unsubscribe, then go. Nothing's stopping you. You don't need to tell me about it, but you do it so that you can wag your finger at me. Like, oh, you were bad. <laughs> because, again, you don't even know what the content is. Because this is on an advertisement for the content. You didn't leave it on the content itself. So you say you could do without that content, but you have no idea what the content is. Again, you're ignorant. You're making assumptions. You're casting aspersions. And if that's what you're going to do, then I don't want you to be a subscriber. Because I wouldn't want to teach you anyway if you're going to be that sensitive about things. If you're going to react all half-cocked. I mean, if you're going to react like that over a thumbnail and a video title, 
without viewing the content within that video, then how can you be trusted with something important? You know, what's coming to me now that you remind me of is the Aesop fable, the fox and the grapes. So the grapes were up too high and the fox couldn't reach them. And he tried and he tried and he tried because he really wanted the grapes, but he couldn't get the grapes. So then he said, well, I didn't want them anyway, as he stormed off, all mad about it. Well, you're the fox and the grapes. You can't get the content because you were never going to pay for it. You were never going to join Patreon, subscribe star, or YouTube. So now you're going to act like you don't want to see the content while mouthing off about the content. Same with the last guy. Remember the last guy? He mentioned the paywall. Oh, you're going to hide behind the paywall, talk of trash. Why do you mention the paywall? Because it's blocking him from viewing it. And so if you're going to be like that, then I don't want you to view the content because you're not worthy of it. I don't want to teach you magical techniques and knowledge if you're going to be in a habit of leaping before you look and being that fragile and volatile. Somebody else says, okay, I really need to see this. <laughs> now see, that was the intended effect. Ian writes, not Damien, he's so gentle and lovable. Mr. Ansetsukin writes, turn back before you lose the people's respect, Freighter. You can see by the comments that this is not going in a good direction. I hope you take the wisest course of action. Well, I think I'll be all right. You know, old freighter does weed people out from time to time. I don't know if you're meant to make the title misleading for more views, but if you're going to dunk on someone, don't do it behind a paywall. Say it with your whole chest. <laughs> then Apollo pursuing Daphne again, one of the guys who was upset, wrote, For real, especially somebody who's so well loved and received in the community, even if the title is misleading and clickbait, the guy put it out there that way for pure negative intentions. Now, my intentions weren't negative. You would have to actually watch the video for the knowledge of why I made that video title the way I did, because I came up with it on the spot in the video while I'm recording. So again, you're just making assumptions. He continues, it was a quick unsubscribe for me, LOL. Oh, come on, you'll be back. When the video rolls around on YouTube, you'll be back to watch it. You may not resubscribe again, but I'm sure you'll watch the video when it does appear. And hopefully this one too, so that you may actually learn something. Yazazen writes, dunk not, lest ye be dunked. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Tamara says, no, nah, don't do that. I love you both. Don't start becoming the biggie and Tupac of magic. <laughs> John writes, I imagine FX dunks about as good as Tom Segura. Ooh. <laughs> you know, at my age, probably. When I was younger, though, I was fairly decent. At literal basketball, not just uh, slam dunking insults, although I was pretty good at that, too. But my biology teacher in high school was also the basketball coach. And he had it out for me because I refused to join the team because I didn't like staying after school. And he hounded and hounded and hounded me to try to, to get me to join the team. And when that didn't work, he went pure evil and tried to do everything he can to do the most harm to me. He even took me aside one day and said, no matter what you do, you're not going to pass this class. So I stopped going to his class because, I mean, why waste the time? Some of these commenters remind me of him. Raul writes, this man lived in a cave for 20 years practicing magic. This had better be a serious dog. Otherwise, this might backfire. Damien is a well-respected member of the community, and it's well-earned. Well, what am I, a chopped liver? I'm sure a lot of your audience are Echoes fans. Careful. Well, at least 20 of them, because that's all that signed up. And then we actually have one person who gets it. Kate B. writes, I haven't watched it. Totally upfront about that. But I trust Freighter. He's been my teacher for years. Not a blind trust, but I know who's been teaching and more importantly, the wisdom that's been taught for all you finger shakers. How quickly you turn. Remember who you're dealing with. Let the chaff be shook off from the rest. So Kate here gets it. Like one of the only people in this entire thread here, which is an advert, not the content itself. So she says that she hasn't watched it, 
but has the faith that once she does watch the content, it will all be good. Because of the track record, baby, how quickly they turn indeed. Now, it didn't start out as an exercise in separating the wheat from the chaff. It originally was just a silly idea, since we were talking about tattoos and Damien Eccles, that instead of titling the episode what I was going to originally title it, I would do a very quick baity thing and say freighter dunks on Damien Eccles to watch people lose their minds. And they did. And they haven't even watched the video yet. So while it wasn't intended to lose ignorant viewers, things just kind of worked out that way. And so it is what it is. Yes, it was a clickbaity title. Yes, I take responsibility for that. But it's not like the ones who threaten to unsubscribe are going to watch the video anyway if I titled it Mailbag February 2023. I mean, let's be real. The title was meant to get a reaction out of people, but the reaction that I got for those who didn't even view the video, it was so over-the-top sensitive that I may as well be selling pacifiers in my merch store. Then I'd put a binky next to their name so that I know who I'm dealing with the next time they leave a comment. So the lesson for today is, if you're going to dunk on Old Freighter's material, at least watch the content that you're dunking on first. Otherwise, you're just talking out your backside. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and share it if you did. Social media links will be on screen in a moment, and I'll see you next time. Take care.